All right, so how did I go from zero to 224K a month with Shopify dropshipping? For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the VFAM. The VFAM is a community and a movement of people that wanna simply aspire to do a lot more than what society has offered us to do. So to kind of jump right into it, I know in some of my other videos, you guys may have heard me talk about you know my story, you know how I got started entrepreneurship, things like that, but I never did a you know an exact story on how we went from you know from doing zero to doing 224K a month with Shopify dropshipping. So, you know, me and my business partner, Samir, we were actually doing door to door sales. Uh, that's, you know, the background that we come from. We were doing door to door sales, specifically in San Diego. And this is actually where the idea of, you know, testing out an internet business or just the idea of running an online business kind of sparked for me personally. Uh, he, my business partner, Samir, had already had some type of background with like, you know, internet businesses, or here, or at least had an understanding of how they worked. I was still brand new to getting into all of this. Mind you, this was only, you know, six or seven months ago from right now. So this was around, you know, I first got started learning about it like around May, you know, then started really diving more deep into it around, you know, June or so. But I wanted to kind of share with you guys, you know, literally just how we got started because, you know, believe it or not, for me and my business partner, e-commerce was just simply an experiment. It wasn't any more than that. Me and my business partner, Samir, we started hearing about these, you know, 17 year olds that were selling these fidget spinners online, right? You guys all seen the fidget spinners before. So we started hearing about them selling the fidget spinners, not only selling it, but absolutely crushing with these, like doing six figures a month. After seeing that, I'm like, yeah, I could definitely see how these, you know, how these guys were crushing it. I mean, these fidget spinners were all over the place. You know, they were everywhere. And that kind of sparked an interest, like, right? What do these seven, two 17 year olds know that we don't, right? So we figured, you know, if they can do that and they can crush e-commerce selling little things like fidget spinners, we can probably do the same thing. So what I went ahead and did is literally, this is exactly how I went. I went in, you know, I had an e-commerce. Uh, I already had some business courses that I had invested in. I'm obviously, I'm huge when it comes to business courses. That's where I learned and I have all my, you know, a lot of my knowledge from. So I had an e-commerce course. I went and took that course. Um, then I started to, you know, pretty much, I literally went and took two or three days where I would go after long days doing door-to-door -door sales. For those of you guys that don't know, door-to-door -door sales is just brutal and ruthless, but I do recommend for anyone just getting started to, you know, start off with some kind of sales job and door-to-door -door sales is actually a perfect one that you can get started with. So I um, started off with door-to-door -door sales. What I would do is on the end of my days, I would take some time, two or three hours to go into a Panera Bread and I would start literally just digging away on my laptop, learning, you know, the things that I was learning from, you know, this e-com course. And literally what I was doing is as I'm learning, I would start to implement it right away so what I would do is I would have one screen with my um, you know with my the course open and I have another screen uh, simply with my store open and literally implementing everything that I'm learning so when it uh, you know setting up a store you know finding the product setting up the collections all that stuff right so I was literally doing side by side so uh, at the end of three days I had a store put together I did I went over exactly what kind of store and how I made one of my biggest mistakes in one of my previous videos you guys can check that out I put together that store and then I went to Samir uh, and I told him like, hey, you know, I, I know you already have some experience with Facebook ads, right? I put this store together, but I don't know how to run ads. So what we did is, you know, I figured, you know, I'll take care of running the store, finding the products, all that stuff. If you can simply just help me out.